Sorry to disturb you, but this is a little something I've been working on. Try some. Oh. Okay. Ooh, you know, these are so tasty. <laughs> I bet Mr. Santana really misses your cooking. And you know what? I bet you miss him, too. I bet you can't wait to catch the first train smoking out of here. You got some wonderful specials this time of the year. You can see the whole country from 99.95. Carmen, this is delicious. How would you like to cater Principal Greer's party? Excuse you? We already decided that I was catering Boss Lady's party. What about the five dozen spam quiches already froze, huh? What about them? Rita, cool out. Carmen will be back in New York before the party. Uh, Steve, I was gonna break this news to you later over a nice flan, but I, Carmen, Maria, Manuela, Consuela, Rosalito, Josefina, Luis, Isabella, Santana, have had enough. I'm leaving my husband. I'm starting a new life here with my new friends. I'm gonna make it after all. <laughs> What's up? Papito, sit down. Papito, sit down means you're leaving dad again. Any more Cheetos left, Mr. Hot Top? My boy, he's so brave. Well, now I have to call your sister, Maria Luisa Ma, Conchita. Ma, just call her, Ma. <laughs> look, Romeo, I know things look bad right now, but it'll, it'll be OK, man. Well, it's OK. You finished the Cheetos, Mr. Hot Top? I just have some Doritos. Oh, Cool Ranch. <laughs> Ain't nobody talking about no burritos. Talking about your parents' marriage. Oh, that, I'm not tripping, Mr. Hightower. For as long as I can remember, my moms and my pops have argued and separated. But they always get back together after a week or six months. <laughs> look, boy, I can't live in this situation that long. Now, look. I like plantain soup as much as the next guy. But damn it, I want my house back. Don't worry, Mr. Hot Top. Let me hip you to love the Dominican style. My pops will come to the window with an acoustic guitar singing Loving You or Dreamweaver. You should take them back in. OK. What we need to do is speed up the process. Now, look, we got to do whatever we can to get your mother and father back together. Even if we got to lie to get your daddy here. So you saying it's okay to lie? Look, just in this situation here. Okay, cool. Um, so I'll just call him up and I'll tell him I'm in a coma. <laughs> a coma? You can't just go. Then again, you are your daddy's boy. Well, that'll probably work. <laughs> 